Today's video takes place in one of the more unusual abandoned sites we have ventured in so far. It is a combination of two very different areas, but believe it or not, they are in the same building. What the heck? Everything was left behind and we couldn't believe what we found during our exploration of this two-in-one special, a church and a boxing gym. It is a moody morning, but already we have arrived at our first abandoned site of the day. The only signs of the building's abandonment is the unkept grass and locked gates. Nevertheless, with the information we had gathered, we headed inside, instantly entering into an amazing room. The church is in great condition, with all the ground floor pews remaining, as well as a huge organ that towers over the viewers of the service. Some expected signs of decay are here to prove the site's abandonment, but we still feel like we are very lucky to be able to explore this one. The weird thing about this place is that there is barely any information online about its past, so we don't know too much about the building. We can estimate that over 200 people would visit the church every week for sermons and more. Lots of other artifacts remained in the church part of the building and we can't see why they weren't given to a surviving church, rather than being left to gather dust here. Upstairs on one of the balconies gives a different perspective of the hall. From here you can see some work has been done on the roof, perhaps to maintain it from falling onto the pews. Here we could also take a look at the huge organ which still had an open book of hymns that were probably played on the church's final day. After learning from one of our recent explorers, we didn't try and play it, although we doubt it would have worked anyway. There was also a fading post-it note with the hymns sung on that final day during Sunday's AM service. In the back rooms of the church we found a ton of items that were left behind, meaning that literally everything in the building was left. Some of these bits would sum up to a large total, yet they are sat inside the old structure with no use at all. If you haven't noticed already, there are many pianos inside the building, more than we have ever seen before, including the impressive organ we counted eight dotted around in the darkened light. We spent a while looking through the array of stuff on show, as some of it was fascinating to see. This is like the fifth one we've seen. These are all old vinyls and they all have a record in them and there's hundreds. 
that just fell open. Once we were sure we had finished searching the church section of the structure, we headed downstairs knowing of what we would find, but it was still very bizarre to finally see it in person. What the We aren't sure how many abandoned boxing gyms there are out there in the world, so this was a mental find. Along with the church, this area was also completely untouched, with even more priceless items everywhere. Now for this part of the building, there is some details we know. The gym itself doesn't have a direct link to the church, it was just a hired out space that also closed when the church did. When it opened, the ribbon was cut by famous boxer Ricky Hatton, who visited a few times during the gym's time in use. From other stuff we found, we can deduct that the boxing club met three times a week in the evening. An important thing to notice was how many trophies lay down in the basement gym. There was an unreal amount, showing that the boxers that trained here must have been quite successful, therefore it is a pity it had to close. We couldn't believe that all the trophies had just been left, especially seeing as someone had to work hard to earn them. Why the building did close we are unsure, possibly there was a lack of visitors or a lack of funding. Either way there is online evidence that the local community is attempting to regenerate their area, including the church. Pictures show organised meets at this building to help clear up the site's exterior, so hopefully soon they will move inside the building to work on that as well. This definitely has been one of our favourite explores because we don't think we will ever see anything like it ever again. The building obviously had many uses, but now the door is locked to the outside and all of those uses no longer occur.